Okay, a little update on how I'm coming along with these uh, rain gutters that I got off of the uh, Seventh-day Adventist Church here in Pomona on 3rd Street. I want to point out something to you. This is old school because if you look, they soldered the ends of these things. And then down here on this one, they uh, soldered it together right here. And when I flip it over, you can see the solder right there. Now these things have quite a few holes in the drain, but I'll fix that. And uh, still got to do a lot of bending of the metal, some of it's still a little crooked. Now, oh, another thing too, um, these are the nails, check out the head on these nails. Totally different from what we get now. And then those little tubes that we would get over at like Home Depot when we buy the nails for the rain gutters. Well, these are self-made, they just got some sheet metal and just bent them and then for the separators that fits inside fits inside the nail here so they won't band or anything. Nail keeps them in place like so. Homemade jobbies while well, at the shop. And another thing too, they must have uh, did these at the shop if they had to solder these things together. This is, I mean, you know, they took the measurements, went back to shop, bent, soldered, made the ends, made the spout. See the spout. I don't know if you can see it, but it's soldered also. So anyway, I thought I'd just give you a little update. You can hear me over the train. But this is as far as I got, and like I said, I'm going to throw a white primer on it. The original color was white, so that's what I'm going to uh, do, I just paint them white. Yeah, I'm thinking the 20s or 30s uh, when these things were put up. So anyway, okay, I'll give you some more updates uh, as I go along. Yeah, hey, Ren here with uh, an update about these rain gutters here. Now, if you look at the end of this one, I capped it off with a piece of wood. And later on, I'm just going to put a couple screws just to hold in place. But what I'm going to do is turn this into a planter and hang it underneath my kitchen window there. And I'll show you uh, how I'm doing step by step. And like I said, I got that capped off. And uh, all I have to do now is just figure out some hangers to hang it underneath my, my kitchen window there. So, I'll give you an update as soon as I figure out how to make some hangers. Okay, uh, I've got the uh, end all painted up. And after I put it up, I'll come back and, and touch it up. Get all my greasy handprints off of it. And uh, what I've already pre-drilled my holes to where I'm going to put underneath the window. And I use these, oops, sorry, plastic inserts and then screw with a washer. So I'll give it a little stability there. But anyway, this is how far I got now. Painted it. Like I said, once I get it up, I'll touch it up again and uh, show you how it looks from there. Okay. Okay, the paint looks like it's pretty well dried and everything, so it's ready to be put up. Now the hole, I was gonna point this out to you. Now I was going to use this screen, but it looks like it might be a little too big and the dirt and slide through. So what I had, I had this old air conditioning filter. And as you can see, I cut a patch out. And uh, I'm just going to lay that down in there. And so we'll have some drainage. So, okay, got the drain covered. And uh, it's ready to be put up. All right, let's put this up against the wall below the kitchen window. Okay, I'll show what we, we've got here so far. There it is, underneath the kitchen window. You know, I was thinking I'll probably end up painting another color. But I've got some plants that kind of like vines. So I think I'll... Uh, plant those in there and see how they come out. Or I might just uh, plant something else in there. But anyway, there it is. Okay, let me go ahead and put those plants in and I'll 
see how they how it comes out. Okay, without you people looking, I decided to take it off and put it back and paint it. So stand out a little bit more, so I painted it brown. So anyway, okay. I guess I'll go dig up my plants I'm gonna put in there. Like I said, it's gonna be like a vine, so anyway, I'm gonna kinda of dangle. But I can always change it later on. Okay, this is what I came up with. Um, you know, you don't have to use these kind of plants. You can use any plants you want to use. But I thought I'd just uh, use these just to show you. And maybe uh, they'll grow out pretty nice. They're like vines type of plant. Okay, so remember, if you got some old gutters, you can recycle them or paste almost anything. Use them for planters or whatever it's up to your imagination okay like always you take care you take care of those ones you love thank you thank you very much bye